Ever wonder about having a personal assistant? Well, now there's a thing called virtual assistant. In today's modern day, people have created virtual assisting programs. A couple of them are Siri, which is a product of Apple, Alexa, an Amazon product, and Google Home, a product by Google. One of the most popular right now is Alexa by Amazon. When was the first Amazon Assistant introduced? It was first introduced in 2014 as a smart speaker by the name of Echo. Amazon's Echo went from a smart speaker to the center of people's homes. Alexa, the virtual assistant which powers Echo, became more capable to control smart home appliances with our voice. We can now control home thermostats, humidifiers, light bulbs, and even salt shakers, which is possible with the new Bluetooth salt shaker called the Smalt. The new Ecobee 4 smart thermostat has Alexa already built in, which can be used exactly as we would use a regular Echo Dot. How many types of Alexa versions are there? There is Echo Dot, which is a smart speaker that is powered by Alexa. There is Echo, which is a bigger version of Echo Dot with Alexa built in. There is Echo Plus, which is a smart speaker with Philips Hue bulb included, which controls lights in the house. There is Echo Show, which is video based where we can see security cameras, photos, and create shopping lists. Browse the internet and listen to audiobooks. There is Echo Spot, which is a smaller version of the Echo Show, which is designed to fit almost anywhere in our homes, along with a built-in touchscreen. It resembles an alarm clock with many more capabilities than your boring wake-up call. All of these Echo products are powered by Alexa and are voiced control devices, which play music, control smart home gadgets, make calls and receive calls, provide us with information, answer questions, sets alarms, and control smart TVs. We can simply ask Alexa to control our TV, request an Uber for us, and even better, order pizza from any part of your home. All right, guys, so I'm going to call myself from my husband's Echo Dot. Echo, call Esposa. Call Esposa's iPhone. And there you have it. It calls you. Hello? Hello? There you go. There you go. Now I'm going to ask for the weather. Echo, how is the weather? In Chicago. It's 33 degrees Fahrenheit with flurries. Tonight's forecast calls for more of the same, with a low of 33 degrees. Echo, thank you. No worries. Now I'm going to ask for a song. Echo, play Shape of You. Shape of You by Ed Sheeran from Spotify. Now I'm going to ask for restaurant suggestions. Echo, can you recommend any Italian restaurants? Based on your zip code settings, here are a few top rated Italian restaurants. La Nonna, Trotteria Porretta Ristorante, Massa Cafe Italiano, and Bonaterra Ristorante. Check out the Alexa app for contact info in hours. Echo, thank you. Of course. Now I'm going to ask to set an alarm. Echo, put an alarm for 9.45 p.m. Alarm set for 9.45 p.m. Echo, stop. Now I'm going to ask for a distance question. Echo, how far is Las Vegas, Nevada from here? 
Las Vegas is 1,784.9 miles away by car, or about 1,515 miles as the crow flies. Now I'm going to be asking for a tongue twister. Echo, tell me a tongue twister. Give Papa a cup of proper coffee in a copper coffee cup. Now I'm going to ask for a reminder. Echo, remind me to pay my credit card tonight. What time today should I remind you? 10.01 p.m. Okay, I'll remind you at 10.01 p.m. Here's your reminder. Pay my credit card. Echo, thank you. Anytime. There you have it. I chose to do this project because it is interesting to me how technology has made it possible for us to have this form of virtual assistance. This comes to show the beginning of many advances technology is creating. Also, I find interesting how the current generation is growing up with this type of technology that we did not have available to us while growing up. It makes us wonder how technological advances will be for the future generations. Talk to you later.